This is Minecraft, one of, if not THE most popular video game in history. This is Liberia, a third world country located in Western Africa. How might these two things be related, you ask? Well, it's actually a weird and hilarious story, to be honest. And today we're going to discuss this story. How did an upset Minecraft player kill a country? This story begins with a student at Ruger's University in September of 2016, who will be left anonymous. He wanted to make some money by working in Minecraft server protection. This led to the student creating a DDoS protection Minecraft server called Protraf and sold the server. Weeks after this though, he was barely pulling through with profit and soon was going to be bankrupted out of business. <coughs> after the student realized that the server was a money fail, he and his friends decided to get into contact with anonymous hackers who would pay the students to make malware. The student made a malware called Mirai, which was a botnet also known as a group of internet connecting devices that run robots. The students were getting lots of money off of this job, but the hackers who were paying them were using their malware to take down other Minecraft servers. After the student found this out, he felt horrible for his actions and retired from this job, and sold his malware onto the internet. This malware he sold got into the hands of many hackers who used his malware to take down the internet of Liberia in October of 2016. Liberia was in a horrible state at this point, and was still recovering from an internal conflict back in 2005, and this malware that took down their internet only added worse to the situations going on in the country. At first, no one knew that the malware was from an anonymous worldwide hackers, and was even considered to be a Russian cyber attack. But after the FBI did some research, they traced the malware back to the student who made it, and the student was arrested by the FBI. There you go, there is the short but dangerous story of an upset Minecraft player who killed Liberia's internet. The aftermath of this attack led to higher cybersecurity in the world, along with all the hackers using the same malware to run online crime businesses. But we are not going into depth with that because this has nothing to do with geopolitics. What can we learn from this? Well, remember it's just a game, you don't need to take down a country's internet.